Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Boy, I guess I'm doing well. Oh, the movies that I choose to watch. I don't know sometimes. I'm I'm just picking random horror movies to watch. Uh, we're, we watch a movie on Saturday nights outside on the projector and that. And uh, I'm just randomly picking just some movies that we've never seen because you know you want to see something you haven't seen 10,000 times well the movie that I ever so reluctantly chose to watch tonight is called The Good Things Devils Do uh, guys I'm going to give you just a quick little rundown of this movie <laughs> I'm gonna butcher a couple names so deal with me please that's just kind of my thing I like to butcher names so here we go we have Bill Oberst Jr. as Richard we have Leanna whatever Quigley I know her from a couple other horror movies and that she's famous for a couple of them there uh, as Louise. We have Kane Hodder as Percy. We have David Rucker III as Melvin. We have Mary Catherine O'Donnell as Mouse. We have Kelly Wilson Robinson as Caroline. And we have Veronica Stoikova as Masquerade and there's only a couple of more characters off in there and those but these are your main characters that you're gonna see through the entire movie uh, oh boy <laughs> I'm having a I'm having bad luck this this uh, Halloween picking out some movies so let me give you just a basic storyline here I'm gonna read it off here Richard, a small-time gangster, is retiring. Before he can, he must take one last job. To steal money from a rival gangster's house. Miles apart, Melvin is a reluctant family man who has dreams of becoming a famous curator for his museum of the Macabre. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, his newest acquisition, the remains of notorious of the notorious masquerade a vampire born from the ambers of hell slain centuries ago on Halloween night their paths will collide and they'll be forced to work together to fight centuries old evil with everything on the line oh, oh boy anyway so, let's go on to man. I don't even know if there's anything good. Okay, there is something good. One thing that I thought was good was a uh, Veronica Stelkova, whatever, as Masquerade. She is basically the uh, vampire. Oops, might have gave something away. But, uh, she looks pretty creepy. They do a decent job with her. Um, she doesn't look like your typical vampire. Uh, it's a really, uh, crazy bloody mess of a vampire. And, uh, but anyway, she does a pretty good job, I believe, of kind of doing what they give her to do. And her makeup design and all that kind of stuff. It looks pretty decent, but she does pretty well with uh, the character and all that. And uh, that's probably the best part of the movie. This movie does not have a lot going for it at all. The acting, bad. The script, bad. Dialogue, bad. Uh, the whole thing basically takes place in a house, and I understand that for, you know, budget reasons for one. And uh, just lack of complicated, you know, going different 
uh, different sets and different things. Uh, make it as simple as you can. You know, I don't know if this movie could have had possibilities. I really don't know. It, it, but the way it is right now, you know, if you just watch it, man, it's just bad, guys. And I've watched a lot of bad movies, a lot of bad horror movies. There's a lot of bad horror movies, a lot of low budget, a lot of just, and a lot of, man, it's because it's not just the acting, it's just the script a lot of times. If you can get a decent script, you know, you can have a, a good budget movie, you know, and I'm sure this movie probably didn't cost $10,000 to make. I swear it probably didn't. It, it, I'm sure it did, but <laughs> it was just, uh, they missed the mark. There's, uh, it, it's, it has an interesting plot to it with the whole vampire thing that's, you know, uncovered and in this guy's house and I don't know if there's any real redeeming qualities about this movie and I hate to say that because somebody took their time and they wrote a script and they put it out there and they got these people and they made a movie and they they you know maybe they did the best they could I don't know I you know I hate to be too rough on people because I try to look at it from a point of view of what if I made it you know would I be happy with it? Would I be like, wow, I did this. That's pretty cool. You know, a lot of times, yes. And then sometimes, I guess, maybe no. I'd be like, eh, you know, I could have done this. And I could have done that. And uh, this is just one of those moments where there's just kind of... It's kind of a simple story. But it's just done badly. Whenever you compare stuff like this to like real, real movies, uh, it, it just it shows how far down the ladder that they really are. And uh, it, it's hard to watch them sometimes, but you try to make it through it just, you know, so you can just make it through it and see if it kind of redeems itself. And this movie doesn't really redeem itself anyway. There's not a whole lot I can go into with soundtracks and set designs and, you know, cinematography and all this different stuff because it's all so low budget and there's really not a lot of set stuff going on and there's not a whole lot of cool lighting and cool this and wow this and wow that. There's not none of that really going on. So, whew, I would say watch it if you're just wanting to burn some time but don't go into this thinking that it's gonna be even remotely okay. I would probably give this more along the lines of a 1.5 out of 5 if I had to give it a score. So that's just my take on this movie. The good things devils do. Ugh. Anyway, I'm glad we got through this one. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed my little discussion. Um, check out my playlist. I have all kind of stuff in my playlist. You're going to find something in there. If you can't find something in my playlist, then, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to make you watch this movie is what I'll do. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to Mikey Sun TV. You're going to be entertained. Just, you just ain't going to believe yourself. You're going to be that entertained. Whew, amazing. More than this movie. Believe me. And guys, don't forget. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on Mikey Sin TV. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it.